Hello, everybody. It's a sold video. Keep them moving, keep them moving. Get them out of here. Um, hope you can hear me okay. Let's see what my volume is at right now. Okay, so it's loud. Okay, so I'm just going to do a... Can you hear me okay? I'm just going to do a quick um, sold video. I like these just for my own, my own uh, knowledge. Plus, you guys seem to enjoy them pretty well, so... Hi there, um, Glenn and Carol and Martha. It's good to see y'all. Um, so, this first thing, um, I'm going backwards. So, this is from uh, May, May 9th. Um, I had this listed for $15.99. And uh, it's a Michael Kors uh, long sleeve dress shirt, striped. Um, I had it listed for fifteen ninety nine. I kind of went high on that, um, and I sold it for five bucks. I took a best offer, five bucks plus uh, the shipping, so like seven or eight bucks shipping on that. So didn't too, do too bad on that. Um, I think that's something that somebody sent me. I can't quite remember um the next thing uh it was a need for speed game but nobody paid for it so it did not get sold next is this italian silk brooks brothers tie and i sold it for 70 bucks i took a best offer from 99.99 I sold it for 70 bucks. Um, this is something that Kathy sent me. She sent me a bunch of ties, and this one had a, um, a price tag on it still. New in the store, they were like 135 bucks, which is crazy. Crazy that anybody would ever spend that on a freaking new tie, but oh, you, you never know, right? <laughs> so, um, so. So that one sold for seventy plus seven thirty-five shipping. So I think I I did good on that. Um, I was hoping I wasn't going to go too low. Um, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Um, next is this vintage lot of curlers. Um, they were in this. Uh package the zip up package um and they were the wire um spring and it had picks in it so um 9.99 plus 7.35 shipping on those um i think i picked them up at the thrift store for probably a dollar maybe even 50 cents they did not cost me much um so i i think i profited pretty good on those um the next thing, oh, this is um, one of the things that I got from my buddy. Uh, he uh, sold me a bunch of Sega Game Gear stuff, and um, I I had it priced pretty high, thirty thirteen. Um, and this is just like it's not part of the game. It's not like a a game or anything it's just a magnifier that you slip over the screen so that you can see the screen better and um i took a oh actually they paid 35 35 plus 770 shipping so i did really good on that because i mean i probably only spent i probably only uh uh paid like like 200 for all the stuff that I got and I well made my money back on that um on that stuff um oh shoot I went the wrong way 
do, 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 do. Excuse me. Yeah, so I, I got 35 plus 770 on that one. Um, next is going to be this Circa Miniature Dollhouse Clock. Um, can't remember where I got this. Maybe at thrift store. Um, and you, these usually, I don't usually pay very much for these, but um, I put a new battery in it. And um, it worked fine. And I got $16.99 plus eight bucks shipping. Hi, Mike. Hi, Amelia. Um, then on the 18th, it looks like um, this Kate Spade bracelet. Um, I got this in, I can't, I can't exactly remember. It might have been Carol's lot that she sent me. What? What, Carol? <laughs> um, it's a Kate Spade bracelet. It had nine different colored spades around the bracelet. Um, it was just a gold tone bracelet, but it um, was marked Kate Spade. And, uh, oh, you gave me the clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I can't freaking remember. I cannot remember. Okay. Thank well, thank you, Carol. <laughs> I did well on the clock. <laughs> this yeah, and this bracelet too. I don't know. Um between you and Kathy, like all like and I got jewelry from Valerie too. And uh yeah, it's I I just couldn't keep up with who gave me what. <laughs> Um, yeah, that Kate Spade bracelet, I got 15 plus 785 shipping on that. Um, not bad. Not bad. I was thinking that it was going to go for a lot more than that, but with it just being gold tone, it didn't. Um, and it had some scratches and stuff, but, um, it was pretty, it was a nice bracelet. Um, so... And believe me, I've been taking, I've been taking some really low best offers <laughs> for some stuff because I've been poor and, uh, but you know, you'll see this next one is sold on the 18th. This is a loop 18, uh, black tiered skirt. Um, It is, I think I took $8 uh, best offer and uh, plus 735 shipping. So I did all right on that. Um, I had never heard of that brand before, but it's it's not an awful brand. Um, I did sell this fishing curl basket, but that I got at the auction whenever I went at one time. <laughs> and, uh, but they did not pay. So it is still for sale. Um, and then I sold this Aeropostale uh, stretchy tank for five bucks plus shipping. And I've had this listed for, for a while. Um, but I was glad that somebody finally got it. Um, so five plus seven thirty five shipping. That was on the 19th, on the 22nd. I think uh, Carol might've gave me these. Uh, no, she gave, me, she gave me some filters, but I don't think she gave me these. Maybe, maybe not. Um, because I've, I've been finding these at my um, St. Vincent de Paul's too, for like a dollar. Um, this one I got, um, I get eight ninety nine for that one. Yeah, I got eight ninety nine plus five twenty four shipping on that one, so I did all right. Um, this uh, Fendi coin purse. Um, I did sell it to somebody that lived in the UK, and um, they. 
they sent me a message saying, oh, I want to cancel this because, um, because it doesn't look authentic. And I got this from Dwayne and, um, he told me it is authentic. So I'm like, you know, I was fighting tooth and nail. It is authentic, you know, and, um, it's a nice looking little coin purse, you know, for being a Fendi and all that. So, um, and there was no real comps on these little coin purses. And it had like some hardware that, um, other, other coin purses didn't have, um, that, you know, they were missing. And my, coin, my, uh, hardware was all like sturdy and, um, the stitching on the coin purse was nice and all of that. So anyways, um, they were like telling me that they wanted to cancel, but that was after I had already shipped it. And so I was like, well, I already shipped it. So, you know, maybe, you know, whenever you get it or whatever, you can look at it and, you know, see that it's real. And, uh, so when she had it for probably like 15 days or something, and, um, and then sent me a message saying that she wanted to return it. And so I contacted eBay when it was close to the time that I was supposed to like, um, give her, you know, give her a return or not, you know? And, uh, so they said, well, looking at the messages, it seems like, a a case of buyer's remorse. And I was like, that's what it seemed like to me too. And he was like, well, in this kind of case, we kind of just uh, like to keep it civil between, you know, both parties. So eBay is going to um, send her a refund and she gets to keep the coin purse. So I was like, okay, well, I don't really like that. I, I don't, but I wasn't going to have her send it to me and me pay $65 in shipping she was saying that she didn't realize that there was fees like for it being over sales over overseas. And I was like, well, don't they have to see that before they even purchase it? You know, it was just kind of weird. Sorry, I had to get a drink. So anyways, so anyways, that was done. They refunded her. I was like, whatever. I got my money out of it, you know, and, uh, don't have to worry about it. So, um, next I sold this, uh, WWE SmackDown game, eight ninety nine plus five nineteen shipping. Um, I, I didn't find any comps for this one actually. Um, but it had some scratches. So, um, so that's why I sold it pretty cheap. Um, that was on the 22nd. And this one sold, but they... Um, oh, yeah. It did sell. And they got... They, it bought. It got, it got paid for. Let me see if I can use my words right. Um, this is a Remington Micro Screen Electric Shaver. And... Um, I think I got this at St. Vincent's. Um, I got like three or four different, um, little razors and usually I'll pay like a dollar 50 to $2, uh, maybe $3 for a really good one on this one. So I think I took a best offer of 15, $14 plus shipping, which was 14 20. So they paid 28 total, 28, 20 total. Um, not a bad deal there. This is a dumpster dive find. I found these Aladdin, um, coffee cups still new in the package and they tossed them in the dumpster and, uh, they were just like to go cups. Um, but like reusable and stuff. So I, uh, I got five dollars plus six dollars shipping on those, so pretty good for a dumpster dive find. This is a Todd watch. This is the Val Valdon Valdon 
uh heck yeah Mary Duffy I I got I I've gotten so much out of that dumpster that is like it's it's made me money it's made me some good money um I got 1570 plus five something for shipping on this watch this is the bacon and egg watch and um this one came from Todd so uh, I sold it like within a few days of listing it. So it went pretty good. Uh, next is this picture that I got out of the dumpster. <laughs> Speaking of dumpster diving, um, I got this picture a while back and, um, Jim, uh, Jim Carrey told me this is like, a a cheesecake photo, you know? And so, and it had some tearing around the frame and stuff like that. But, um, you can see it's like, it's like 1940s. And, but I could not find the, um, hi, Mr. Sadie. <laughs> yeah. Todd stuff. He was sells for others. That's right. Um, so I could not find the name of this actress, but I just, so I just like, instead of saying, you know, oh, this is, uh, I put in the, I put in the condition actually, I'm not sure who the photo is of, but it looks like Carol Landis. Um, and the picture was rough around the edges and, and stuff like that. And, um, so anyways, I just listed it like that. And, um, I took a best offer of $12 and five forty shipping. So, um, pretty good for out of the dumpster. Um, this one is a cabbage patch cutie, uh, Freddy the frog, little dolly. And I believe, oh, don't quote me on this, but I think this came from, uh, er, 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 I'm not going to be able to remember. But I got this from one of my friends. Uh, gosh, I can't freaking remember. Um, because I'm just doing this this video on the fly, so I did not sit down and write down names or anything like that. So, hey there, Deb. And so, uh, but I got a uh, twenty twenty nine for this plus shipping, and uh, it was cute. It was still you know like in its little package and stuff. Um, but it was a cute little cabbage patch doll. Um, <laughs> I sold, I sold water wings to somebody. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. Uh, I sold water wings to somebody in Washington state, I believe. And, um, I sold like. I think four packs of them or something and shipping was twenty seven ninety, And of course I didn't pay that much cause I, I, I shouldn't send it all like, um, USPS first, you know, uh, padded, but they, how many did they buy? Yeah. They bought three packages and I got these a long time ago from, I believe I got them from Lori. Um, I either bought them from her or she sent them to me cause she was getting, getting rid of them out of her store or something. So, so I got these from her. Um, and I still have like three packages. Um, but, uh, I sold these on May 27th. So did pretty good on those, Lori. Thank you a lot. <laughs> um, uh, on the 28th, I sold, uh, two pocket pig coin savers they were just like um made out of this cardboard like paper like stuff and and they weren't like thick at all but um they were to where you can uh put coins on the inside like for a kid you know um like like you know you you put a coin on each, each one of the slots or whatever. And then by the time you're done, you have like three bucks or something. So anyways, but it had this advertisement on the, on the side 
And so you always want to mention any advertising that's that's on the product. Um, so for two of those, um, I got $9.99 plus uh, $5.35 shipping. And I got those from Bridget. Um, next is this La Bella Provincia Italian Italian inspired body collection. It's like soap and lotion, um, coconut lime. And I got this for a penny at the Dollar General. So, um, I, I only got five ninety nine for it, eight, eight bucks shipping. Um, so I didn't sell it for a whole lot, but I made a great profit because I only bought it for a penny. Um, next, I sold this uh, Bandmark. Um, it's uh, like a flag. It's um, just a little thing, decor. That's got the um, the twin towers and and stuff like that in it. Uh, Three ninety nine plus seven thirty five shipping. I told you I took some freaking low bust offers. Yeah, that one's good, Deb. I like it too. Um, next, <laughs> here's another one. Uh, man, I I must have took a whole lot of three dollar offers it looks like super nintendo controller uh 3.99 plus shipping and uh i probably could have got a lot more for that um if i wasn't hurting so bad i guess <laughs> um next is this primitives by kathy it's a um coaster set and um it didn't look like it had ever been used, but possibly. I took three bucks uh, plus seven thirty-five shipping on that, and I probably paid a dollar for them at the thrift store. Um, next on May thirty-first, this is a vintage uh, dolphin statue. It's brass, and um, I took a best offer on this for 11 something plus shipping uh 11 11 and then 1160 shipping um i got that free uh from one of uh from my brother-in-law who used to do the storage units so no cost to me um this is a pair of shorts that i sold um, Gloria Vanderbilt, um, dark blue shorts. And I think I had free shipping on that for some stupid reason. I think I just got it off of auction and, uh, forgot to change the shipping over or something, but, um, they paid 10 bucks and that was it. So, um, I mean, didn't really lose anything. I don't think I paid for those though. So, um, Next is these troll action figures. Um, these are from the 90s, 1993. And uh, so if you ever see these guys, they don't go for a whole lot of money, but people are looking for them. So um, I think I got 10 bucks, nine bucks plus 11, 20 shipping on those. And of course they probably went padded flat, right? Uh, this one I did pretty well on. Um, I always pick up these Black & Decker, uh, choppers. They always do well for me. And I, I almost screwed up because I had this whole thing packaged. The whole, the whole thing. And then I realized that it was just the motor that, uh, I sold. Because I had parted it out. And I sold just the motor for 22... Twenty-two fifty plus eight sixty shipping, and so I have the other the other parts still in there. Um, so I was like, "It's a damn good thing that I realized that, or I would have lost some money on that." Um, not really lost money. I I think I paid probably three bucks for the little chopper, 
Um, that's what they usually sell for anyways. So, um, I, I made my money on that for sure. Um, this is a lot of 30 bangle type bracelets, um, just gold tone, silver tone and hi summer. Nice to see you too, girl. Um, I got $7 plus $8 shipping on this one. Um, there was just a lot of, a lot of different, um, Bengal styled, uh, bracelets that I got out of different jewelry lots. And, um, I still have more that I, I need to make another lot. Um, it only took, I think it only took a few days for that, that one to sell. So, um, I did all right. I just, I need to get more lots up because it seems like. People like them, but then they don't buy them for a little bit. And then, and then every once in a while, some, something will sell. Um, this next one is a ship. This is the model of the Santa Maria. Um, and I had it listed for 40. I got this at a yard sale for $2, $2, $1. They had three on it and I got it for one, I believe. Um, and um, it doesn't matter how messed up these things are. People like restoring them. So if you ever see a, a ship like this at like a yard sale or a thrift store or something like that, um, always pick these up because people will buy them and restore them themselves. Just, you know, put it in the listing like, Hey, um, some of the wood is like hanging free or something and, and people don't mind. Oh, you guys have all the, all three of the ships. Oh, that's cool. I know that, um, I've sold the, the Nina and, uh, and now I've sold the Santa Maria. I sold the Nina before though too. And, but I've never sold the Pinta, but I sold this for 2670 plus shipping 830. So, um, I, I did really well on that. The Pinta, that's, that's a drunk ship. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey there, Maggie. Um, uh, I sold these, uh, on the 4th of June, I sold these Aeropostale, uh, zero sized, tiny, teeny, tiny, uh, Capri pants. And, um, I sold them for like, 10 bucks free shipping, I think. And they must've did the same thing at, you know, and, uh, just got off auction or something and I forgot to switch it over. Um, <clears throat> next I sold these two, uh, play school glow worms. I've sold, um, probably about 10 of these suckers now. Um, this comes from my friend who had all the vintage toys, um, together, I think I got 20, 23, 23.98 plus 1570 shipping. So, um, I did really well on those. And, uh, uh, no prancer. I don't need your feedback, please. Um, next I sold this dress barn, uh, prancer, shush, three X, uh, boho top. And I got this at the thrift store. I think I paid, I want to say that I paid like, uh, three or four bucks for this because I got it at a thrift store. Um, I got 10 50 plus 820 shipping on that. So I didn't do super good, but, um, I wanted to sell it for somebody to somebody who needed it, you know? And, uh, hopefully I did. Next is this, uh, half cake barbecue grill. I got this at the auction a while back. Um, and, uh, I think I only paid, I think I only paid like, uh, maybe 15 or 20. What did I get at that? Um, that, what did I get for that half keg barbecue girl? Do you remember? Was it like 15 bucks what did you get or for like, it? no, I think it was like seven fifty actually. What did we pay for it? Huh? What did we pay for it? What did we pay for it at the auction? 
I think it was seven fifty. Seven Yeah. So um so we sold it for uh fifty bucks plus they paid fifty nine eighty in shipping. So we did really, really good on that. Um of course it it did take a lot to ship to um I think it was probably like twenty or thirty bucks to ship it, but I did make a little bit of money on the shipping. Um, next is this uh, Christopher and Banks uh, acrylic cardigan. Um, I don't believe I paid for this. I think this is a dumpster dime find um, from way back. And um, I think I got 10, 10 plus $8 shipping on that. Next is a lot of two sterling silver bracelets. Um, and I got these at a yard sale. Um, this summer and I think I paid a dollar a dollar fifty or three dollars for these and I only sold them for seven plus seven seven eighty five shipping so I think I could probably could have got more out of them but I wasn't real sure so next time just lesson learned you know next is a pair of these uh, Nautica these are like vintage jeans um, they're like kind of like mom jeans I guess um, and they were distressed. And so I just put that in the listing, you know, that they were distressed and, um, that there was like no, no holes or no stains, but they, there was some distress on them. Um, and I sold these for 14 plus nine thirty shipping. Next is this, um, biz ed Spanish vocabulary cards. Um, I always pick these up whenever I see them at thrift stores because, um, they always usually sell for me. I, um, I mean, I have, I have some that are in my eBay room right now that I don't know if those are cards though. I might have a couple of packs of cards, but they always usually sell for pretty good money actually. So I got $25 on these. I probably paid one or $2 for them. So, um, and these are usually at my St. Vincent's, um, thrift store for a couple of bucks. So, um, 25 plus 780 ship 85 shipping on those. Next is this legacy Southwestern tribal, uh, watch. And I got this from Todd. That's another Todd watch. And it had the, the tribal style Western Southwestern brand band on it. And it had a new battery in it. So it went for 699 plus 530 ship. 35 shipping on it. Um, next I sold this like uh, action line two-way radio and I sold it for pretty pretty cheap. 555 plus 1120 shipping on that. Um, I didn't really know much about it and um, I did not see oh the, the antenna was missing that's right. And uh, so I um <laughs> okay, Todd. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I I took a, a pretty cheap price on that one. That was on June twelfth. Um, next is on the twelfth. I had this Chrysler Metal Makeup uh, Compact. I got this a while back um, from my brother in law who did the storage units. Um, so I didn't pay anything for this. And it was a little metal compact that had a mirror. And um, you could tell that it had like powder in it. Um, and I didn't clean that out or anything like that. So I just left it as as it was. And, um, and then, you know, if they wanted to clean it out, then they could have, you know, and put whatever else in it. But um, it was like a fold up little compact. It was cute. Um, I got eight fifty plus eight twenty shipping on that, so I, I didn't pay anything for that. Um, next, I got this. I sold this uh, Wowie Light Sprites uh, toy. Um, I don't actually. I think this actually came from brother-in-law too. That um, he had some like toys and stuff mixed up with his stuff, um, and I have like like three or four of these little toys that um that i've uh 
listed. Anyways, um, this one sold for eleven ninety nine plus seven eighty five shipping. Um, hope I'm not boring you guys to death. Uh, this uh, this one sold June thirteenth. This is a DBX life jacket uh, slash ski vest. Um, it was adult um, adult size. This was uh, sold for eighteen dollars plus seven eighty five shipping. I believe this was a um, something I got from my brother in law also. As a just like a regular life vest, but um, people like them now where they. Um, have the buckles all the way up and not just like the orange orange plain old you know uh, life jackets they like color to them nowadays you know make them look fresh and of course my freaking phone is ringing and I'm not answering it uh, next I sold this um, magnetic knife bar um people can put these in their rvs their boats their campers um kitchen wherever and it's just a bar that you uh stick to your wall and then you can uh put your knives on it it's magnetic so it'll stay up there um i sold this for 2075 plus 1120 shipping i got that at a yard sale last year for i think i paid a couple of bucks for it um, I had the screws to it and all that, so did well on that. Um, next is this uh, vintage 1993 Crazy Horse uh, picture um, slash clock. has a clock on it, um, and it was really cool. I, I really like this because it reminded me of, okay, it says 1993, so it's around that time. That was when, um, like, a lot of... Um, a lot of these would sell at swap meets and flea markets and stuff. People were selling this stuff like crazy. This wood backing, um, um, artwork that, uh, had like clocks and stuff on it or looked like, you know, tree, like, um, the edge of a tree or something, you know, um, it was, it was really nice. Anyways, um, it says the. Sue's greatest war chief, um, crazy horse. And then it has this, of course, the clock on it. Um, really pretty. The clock worked, um, and it didn't have a whole lot of scratch surface scratches on it or anything. And I got that for free from my brother-in-law that did the, um, storage units. And, um, I got 45 plus 26, 85 shipping. Um, Next, I sold these um, desert combat boots. I got these from Dwayne. Um, I got these, uh, or I sold these uh, desert combat boots. They did have some scuff scuffing on the the uh, toe of them, but I just, um, I just told them, you know, to see all the pictures and the tread looks excellent and all that good stuff. Um, just put it in the listing and they were size 13. Um, and I got 46 plus 1160 on those. So I did really good. Um, so thank you, Dwayne. Next, I sold this, uh, Chicago Cubs Wrigley filled, uh, baseball cap. Um, it was a, an older, um, filled, uh, uh, older 47 brand, uh, um, what do you call it? Strap back hat. And this, um, this was just like a patch, um, that was on this, um, cap. So it wasn't like, you know, uh, original or anything like that. It was just a patch. So I sold this one for four dollars plus seven eighty five shipping. Um, I believe I got that one for free. Um, next is this Sonoma uh lightweight denim jacket. Um, this I got at a yard sale this year. Um, and I had went and bought the ladies all the ladies' clothing for 20 bucks. Um, and I came away with this jacket. 
and uh, I made 21 plus 10 40 shipping and I made money on the shipping too. So um, I, I've made all my money back from that yard sale already. So I thought that was pretty cool, cool sell. And it was, you know, just a couple of days after the yard sale. So I did really well. Um, I also sold these black old Navy, uh, shorts. And for some reason I have free shipping on those. And I made 12 bucks on them. And those came from the same place. This is uh, just a lemmings. Um, hey, Bridget. How you doing? A lemmings uh, Sega Game Gear game. And this is uh, from the lot that uh, my friend sold me of all the Sega Game Gear stuff. And uh, I've already made my money back on this whole lot, so I wasn't worried about selling this for three bucks plus shipping. And, uh, well, that sucks, Bridget. I'm sorry. Um, so I got, I, I, uh, I sold that for three bucks plus 530 shipping. I wasn't worried about it. I, I wasn't getting no sales hardly right there, so. Uh, next, I sold this Volcom. Um, it's a Volcom as a skate shop. If you don't know, um, it's a vintage uh, T-shirt. Had red diamonds on it. Um, I had a red and green one of these, I believe. And I got these a long time ago out of the dumpster. So, oh, I'm sorry, Maggie. Um, so I got 10 bucks plus 930 shipping on this. So I, uh, made my money back on that. No problem. This is a DC comics, uh, Batman, um, pendant necklace. And, um, I believe I got these in one of the little jewelry lots that I got from somebody. Um, and, and I actually, Actually had you know some uh, some good views and stuff from that. Um, I sold it for fifteen bucks plus seven eighty five shipping on that. Um, next, I got eight ninety nine plus four thirty nine shipping on two little plastic recorders that I picked up at the thrift store. Um, these seem to always sell for me. I, I've sold these a couple of times, actually. Uh, different ones, you know, but they're just plastic recorders. But people need them for school and stuff. So, or or that, or they just want it for their kids, you know. I don't know who'd want it for their kids, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it. it's good to have, you know, instruments around the house and stuff you know uh next i got this uh i got 25 plus eight dollar shipping on this vintage new orleans um charm bracelet i believe i got this from somebody but i can't remember who i think it was bridget um and uh i i believe it sold in in probably a few days maybe a week after I listed it, but it was just a cute little souvenir bracelet. And, uh, and it did well, 25 bucks plus shipping. Um, these were also something that I got from Bridget, which was a pair of PacSun, um, PacSun jeans. And they were like distressed and stuff. And uh, I got 25 plus shipping on those. So I did pretty good on those. Uh, next, I got 750 plus 930 shipping on this Johnson Brothers. Uh, it, it's like creamer. It's like um has a little um artist piece on the side, you know, like a little painted, um, 
piece and uh i think that did real well i can't remember where th those come from i think i've had those forever actually next i got 15 dollars on plus 1050 shipping on this vintage 1982 strawberry shortcake doll that still smells like strawberries when she blows kisses isn't she cute she had the little outfit and everything but she just had some fucked up hair <laughs> i couldn't do nothing with that girl's hair anyways uh yeah this is the same doll that i had listed for three bucks because i was trying to freaking win a challenge with her so so i listed her for three bucks uh no not three bucks i had to list her for five yeah she was listed for five plus shipping and um people kept like trying to offer me a dollar and and i had like 13 watchers so in the middle of all that i just freaking uh changed the price over to 15 bucks plus shipping and um probably three or four days later she sold so i was happy about that next i have this uh chai bikini top and bottom uh bikini it like had a southwestern design on it it was cute um got that out of the dumpster a long time ago this one was uh i sold for 10 bucks next i ah i clicked on the wrong one dang it this one next is this uh jeep workwear uh corduroy button-up jacket and um i had a list for 69 there was like no comps on those but it looked like a nice jacket didn't have any problems um and i sold it for 30 bucks plus uh 940 ship 945 shipping this i got out of um hmm actually i believe this came from the storage units i believe so so i didn't pay anything for them um these shoes sold but they came back to me because of a uh, wrong size person thought that they were a different size or whatever um next is a faded glory green and gray heathered well it looks heathered anyways it's like mint mint gray two different kinds of gray uh v-neck shirt faded glory right faded glory 10 bucks plus 785 shipping look at that You'd think that would be a two or three dollar item, huh? Ah. <laughs> um, next I sold Batman. He is a Batman, uh he's the full guy plush um he's a he's like a pillow pet pillow pal, whatever you, whatever you want to call him. Um, I got this at Dollar General for one penny. Yes, me too, um, Maggie. It's always, it's always like a reasonable amount that I get for Fate of Glory, and um, but people follow it, and I'm not pushing anybody. Hey, you should buy Fate of Glory. No, I'm not saying that because I try to buy, you know, the better brands too, the ones that sell fast, you know, but. Um, I don't know. I I always sell it. It always goes, no matter how long it takes. Um, next, I have this woman within. Yeah, you have to get it dirt cheap. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Walmart doesn't carry Fade of Glory anymore? Oh my gosh. I did not know that. See there? You could be just a faded glory <laughs> salesperson. 
<laughs> um, I sold this woman within blouse. Uh, it was plus size 4X. And it was really pretty. It had uh, orange and yellow like leaves and stuff. And I sold it for six bucks plus nine thirty shipping. Oh, that's right. That's right, Carol. I forgot about that. Time and true is now their their main line. Um next I sold the Studio Works. See, that's another one. Studio Works is um pretty much like the faded glory. I mean that's that's what it used to be anyways. I mean, it was like, you know, the Kmart regular brand, you know. Anyways, Studio Works uh, Petite Lined Sweater Velour Light Jacket. It was just a, a light zip-up uh, jacket. It has, like, sweater sleeves on it, like, netted. And I... Um, Sold this for 18 plus 11 20 shipping. I don't believe I paid anything for that. Next, I sold, oh, this hot dog warmer, but um, they didn't pay for it. So, canceled that. Uh, I sold this 1990 Pressman Triominos game. And uh, this game was pretty, like the box was pretty rough and everything. But um, it was all together. I do not want to talk to you. Uh, and that one sold that that game sold for eight ninety nine plus shipping nine forty five shipping. Uh, next, I sold this uh, cash register. This um, was free for me because uh, my son got it given to given to him sorry got it given to him by uh his work and so he gave it to me and so i got 41 dollars plus uh 20 i think something no 32.96 shipping and it went to canada and it was just like a casio so um, just a little cash register. Um, oh, this one canceled. And I sold this Karen Kane, uh, Tideways blouse. I've had this forever. I didn't pay anything for it. I think I got it out of the dumpster. Um, and it was just really cute. It had feathers all over it. Um. Feathers are a thing, you know. Um, got ten dollars plus nine thirty shipping on that. Um, this one canceled. I had like two in one day that canceled. I'm like, screw you guys. Um, next, I had this denim and flower Ricky Singh um, Heather uh, gray shirt. New in the package, and this came from Cindy Y. Um, she had these new with tags that were awesome. Um, really cool looking shirts, actually. And I had never even heard of that brand. Um, but now if I ever see that, I will pick it up. It's it's like um pretty good quality shirts. Um, so I sold this one for 19 plus shipping, 945. And that was on June 26th. And then on June 27th, I sold this other one that I got from her. And um, this is a uh, Under Armour new with tags, like a uh, heat gear shirt, like for workouts and stuff. And uh, I got 15 plus 545 shipping on that one. So then I got that one from Cindy too. Uh, Next, on the 27th, I got 15 plus 945 sh shipping for these, and and I'm not even going to try and say it, the Agner, the Agner name. Um, cute little shoes. Uh, I got these at my Salvation Army. And um, just really cute sandal. 
with the little hill. And uh, 15 plus 9.45 shipping on those. Uh, next, I got 12.99 plus 5.85 on this video game, Jax 3. Is a um, PlayStation 2 game. And some of these PlayStation 2 games, they will sell, but um, they have to be like, you know, stuff that people are looking for. No sports games. So all the sports games suck that I know of. And they don't sell worth the shit. Um, and so I went and got another lot of toys from my friend. And I paid 40 bucks for all of them. And I'm still... I'm still sitting on like so many of them haven't listed any of them or not. I shouldn't say any of them. I've listed a few, but I'm, I still have tons to list. Um, but I need to put them together because they're like pull apart toys that like you can stick them on other pieces and stuff like that. Anyways, Gundam, they're like, um, they're like late nineties early 2000s toys so anyways uh i got this uh tamagotchi digi dinky penguin is what it's called dinky penguin but it, it was basically like a tamagotchi i got 20 bucks plus shipping on that i printed out the um the instructions so they can have them so they wouldn't have to look them up um yeah, so twenty plus seven seventy five, and so I only had twenty dollars from the you know from what I paid my friend to make up all of my all of my stuff. So I sold uh, this Guess Who travel game. I don't even remember where I got this. To tell you the truth, I think I got it for free because I don't remember paying anything for this. And I sold this for five plus seven eighty five shipping. Uh, burp, burp, burp. Next, I sold a lot of forty eight drop dangle earrings for twelve bucks plus eight shipping. So, I it was just I was like, screw it, I'm selling all these. Uh, they weren't like these. These aren't like um. They weren't like clip-ons or anything like that. They were just regular dangle earrings. So I figure I'll sell them in a I'll sell a dangle lot, then I'll sell a like a um, pierced what do you call it? Um, like a stud lot, you know. Um, but I gotta get them together first. Um, anyways, twelve bucks plus a shipping on that. Not but not not a big wow sale but i thought it was pretty cool um next i got 19 dollars plus 19.95 shipping on this um it's cling the brand is cling and it's from the 1960s and they are playing cards that are magnetic and it has like a board that you use this board right here and um you can use them like on ships and stuff or if you're on a cruise you can um or picnic or whatever and they're not gonna fly away <laughs> um no this is not all this is i'm i'm starting uh back in may and i'm up to i'm up to july now i think so it didn't take me long did it maggie <laughs> so that was on the second of july um next i sold this fossil women's watch and i believe i got this from todd had a mother of pearl face on it super cute watch um and did have like some small surface scratches and stuff but it was really pretty anyways um 15 dollars plus 524 shipping thank you todd drick um, I canceled this sale for some reason when they bought it from me through through the offers system that 
eBay has now. Um, they did not have to pay, um, because you can see right there, it says no to sell international sale. Um, for some reason, when they buy it through that offer, offer system, they, uh, it doesn't have the, um, global shipping program, uh, come up on it and it makes it to where I can actually send a, send an invoice. Well, I shouldn't have been able to. So basically the only, if that ever happens to you, you're going to have to ask to cancel the sale. They're going to say, yeah, you know, go ahead and cancel it. And then you're going to have to, um, relist it and resell it again. So if you took an offer, best thing to do is just relist it at the offer price and then tell your buyer what you did so they can rebuy it from you. The person that I was messaging, um, that my buyer, he was not very nice. And, uh, he basically, I, and I don't know, see, this is the thing. I don't know if he wasn't very nice or he just didn't understand me because he's from Spain. So it could have been one of the two or it could have been both. But, um, I told him what had happened and I said, you're going to have to repurchase this if you want it. Um, I'm going to relist it at the price that you offered me, which was $45. And then you're going to have to buy this, you know, pay for this. Plus you're going to have to pay for shipping. And, um, he sent me a message that says, Yes, cancel. Send me my money. I I I spent forty five dollars, <laughs> so I was like, fine, cancel, bye bye, whatever. You either buy it again or you don't. I don't freaking care. <laughs> I was so sick of it at that point. So, anyways, uh, it'll sell. At one point, it had like eight watchers on it. It it'll sell. It might just take a little while. Um, next I sold a 2018 sports illustrated swimsuit edition, uh, the winter 2018 double issue. Um, I got a stack of these from my boss. <laughs> she gave them to me because she was like, here, these are outdated. Um, you want these? I'm like, heck yeah. She says you can have them. So, uh, I've been selling them. And, um, I don't care if I get like six bucks out of them. I think I usually have them priced for like 10 99 or something I'm like whatever. Uh, I got them all for free. So it doesn't matter. Right. This, uh, Coca-Cola, uh, hot dog toaster, it sold again and then they canceled. <laughs> Um, thanks Maggie. Uh, next I sold this, uh, old Navy pair of olive green shorts. Um, it was kind of cool because I listed them one day and sold them the next. Um, but they're cute shorts. So, and they're extra large, which is a good size. Um, I sold those for $14.99 plus $7.85 shipping. Next I sold a fossil blue uh like it like glows gl blue glows blue oh, god i can't freaking talk glows blue and it's like um this stainless steel type metal band and stuff so um really cool looking watch i got this a while back and it didn't work and, uh, so sold for $19 plus eight twenty shipping. Pretty cool watch. This I got from my buddy with all the kids toys and stuff like that. The older toys, 1994 Burger King collector series, uh, plastic. It looks like a glass, but, um, it's actually plastic. And, um, it has like Lion Kings on it. I have different ones like Pocahontas and stuff like that, but they're like burger from Burger King. 
Um, sold for eight fifty plus eight twenty shipping. I have a whole bunch of those to go. I think I have thirteen or fourteen more of them. Uh, next, I sold this denim company, uh, floral plus size uh, v neck top, um, cute blouse. I'm not really a denim shirt wearing person. I it just doesn't. I don't think it looks good on me. But um, it, it's bound to look cute on somebody. Um, so I sold that one for thirteen ninety nine plus six dollars shipping. Uh, next on July fifth, I sold the Sony remote control um, DVD slash video combo and um just a regular old looking remote i always pick these up if i see sony at the bottom of it i get it because they always sell for me they might take a little while but they usually always sell for full price also um i got 14.99 plus 860 shipping on that next i sold um this lot of Disney, um, McDonald toys. Um, they're from 101 Dalmatians. Um, also like snow globe, snow dome type toys. Um, and they're from 1996. I sold them for five bucks plus shipping and they still haven't paid. So, and I think they're in Canada, but they haven't paid yet. So they might not. Next, I sold um, for $8.99 plus $7.85 shipping. I sold a five-piece um, bath kit. Um, it's like Sesame Street. It's got uh, Elmo and Cookie Monster and Big Bird on the baby lotion and stuff. And then it's got like a little um, ducky and a little poof. And I put also TSA carry on because um, it does, um, it is within the limits of what you can carry on onto a, a plane. So you want to make sure that if you ever have um, like a bath kit or whatever that has really small pieces that you put TSA carry on because some. <laughs> Some people will look specifically for that. I don't know how much stuff I sold, girl. That's what I'm telling you guys. So you could you guys can figure it out for me. <laughs> um I got I also got those um Sesame Street uh bath packs at a Dollar General for one cent each. Those were a penny item. Uh next I sold this avatar last airbender uh playstation 2 game uh i sold it for three bucks just because i had it listed pretty cheap um uh three bucks plus shipping so and they paid 820 shipping and then today we're here today i sold uh oh actually this was this was yeah, this was today. <laughs> uh, I sold these Placido, Placido brand uh, alligator dress type shoes. Um, size men 13. They have paper on them. That's what that is right there. But anyways, Placido. I can't really see that. Anyways, um, they're, they're like, yeah, you're supposed to be counting. Dang it, Carol. Now you're going to have to go watch it back from the first. <laughs> Anyways, uh, these are these are nice. Uh, like a nice design. Um, if you like that type of thing. Um, I thought they were pretty cool. Anyways, um, I sold these today while I was at the thrift store for $25. I didn't pay for these. These were... Um, these were dumpster dive find. So 25 plus 1050 shipping on those. Um, and then as soon as I got home, I looked at my phone started to ching in 
And I'm like, what the heck did I sell now? <laughs> I have these listed all the time. They, um, they're, it's Fago brand. I don't know. Some people have never even heard of it, but, um, it reminds me of Shasta. If you remember Shasta, we had Shasta in California, <laughs> which was like, it's almost like a Walmart brand or something of pop, uh, soda, cola, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I have these listed all the time. They sell them at my store for 99 cents. Okay. And I have them listed for $11 and 60 cents because every once in a while I will sell one and really it's worth it for me to have them priced higher than to, you know, have them priced like for like two or $3 and be selling them all the time and just make a little bit of money on it. it it's more of a headache to do it like that because then I'll be trying to buy them from my work all the time and everything like that. So anyways, I sold one today for $11.60 plus $11 and 60 cents plus eight thirty dollars eight eight dollars <laughs> they listen to me i'm so excited i can't even freaking talk eleven dollars and sixty cents plus eight dollars and thirty cents shipping and guess where they're going freaking michigan <laughs> i'm like i i couldn't i couldn't understand because it's like a michigan brand it's it's a um it's a brand that you can usually only find in michigan sometimes wisconsin um but brandon told me that one of his cousins lives downstate and she can't find it either so um this is for one 24 ounce um size drink okay a pop so um so just saying, if you guys have something in your, like we have better made chips also that are supposed to be like just in Michigan or maybe in a couple of surrounding states, but better made is supposed to be like a Michigan brand also, um, just like burners. Um, and I probably should have listings for both of those things too, but they're always like off on you know, and, um, we don't really have them in stock all the time. Um, especially when we're busy during the summer. Um, but Fago is pretty reliable. I can always usually, um, make sure that I have it at least on Friday. So if I had to like extend the time or something, I probably would do that if I had, um, had to like wait for a brand to come or a flavor to come in or something. So anyways, um, yeah, so I have this listing on here all the time. Um, I have like six different, um, flavors that they can, um, choose from. And I've sold, I've sold probably since I've been selling them, I've sold probably four or five. Um, one time was when I, the, I think the first one was when I so, was uh, visiting Valerie in Kansas and I sold one to like the Netherlands or something. And it was insane because I think they paid like $38 or something for shipping. And I sold, I sold the bottle of pop for like, I don't know, I think 15 or 20 bucks or something like that. it was, it was a crazy amount, but for 24 ounce pop, you know, Eleven dollars sixty shipping is not no eleven. <laughs> I keep on saying that eleven dollars and sixty cents plus eight dollars and thirty cents shipping. So, um, pretty good, and it's going here in Michigan. So, I don't have to ship it ground or anything because it's not going to go like on a plane anyways. So, that's all I got for you guys. I hope that was enough. I think it was enough for me. I'm tired, man. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, 
I'm sure a lot of people have a lot more. I'm only a part timer, remember? <laughs> I'll pull the top the Todd card. I'm only a part part time seller, remember? Um. Well, thank you, Martha. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. Um. All right, have fun at the post office, Carol. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming and watching. If you liked it, hit thumbs button, thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Um, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. I'll, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow anyways. Talk to you later. Get good sales. List lots of stuff and keep them moving. See you later. Bye-bye.